faithful. But look at this mighty man of God. He's going to be with the Lord, yet he's still speaking. He said, your work is not your job. There are two different things. He said, your job is what people pay you to do. When you hired, people hire you. They pay you for it. When you finish the job, you go home. When your job is over, they may call you back, they may not. That is why you see a lot of people today, they are struggling financially because when the job ends, they don't call you again. But when you are doing your work, this is what you are born to do. This is your whole idea. Your God give you wisdom and idea. What God asks you to do here on earth. Number one, you do it with ease. Number two, you love it because you are doing what you are called to do. Because you are living in your purpose. Number three, you become an employer of labor. You also give people happy hand. You will employ people. You give people job because you are doing what you love. Number four, you don't get tired of doing it. You can go on and on. You can stick to it without even remember to eat your food or take a cup of water. I can use myself as an example. As I'm talking to you now, in our time, it's almost to one. It's lunchtime. I've not eaten this morning. I've been praying. After prayer, I speak with people on phone. I study the word of God. Now I want to talk to you one on one by doing this video. So maybe after this video, it'll be school time to pick up boys from school in our time. So what am I doing? I never get tired. I can go on and on without food, without water, trying to do my work because this is the purpose where I'm born. As a pastor, a lot of life depends on me. A lot of people look up to us, look up to me as a pastor, as a pastor's wife. It's a love. The other day I told my husband, no, I just want to get a job. He said, eh, what are you talking about? If you get a job, what about billion people that depend on you? How are you going to attend the job because of one job? So billion people will suffer. I said, honey, I'm sorry. I won't even think about it again. So what am I trying to say? That is just by the way. There's a difference between your job and your work. There are two different things. Your job is not your work. Your work is your gift. Why you, come into, why you came into this beautiful world? Your God-given idea, your purpose, why God called you. That is why everybody has a purpose. Everyone has a purpose. Unfortunately, grown-up people don't even know where they are. They don't even know their purpose. They are still looking for a job. Everybody has a purpose. Some people, their purpose is to be, get a job, to help people, to give happy hand. Some people, their job is to get a work, to do their work, so that they can employ other people. So that is what is lacking in our society today. If you look at our boys, a lot of them are saying they are looking for a job, they are looking for a job. I said the other day, a young lady said me, he said, Mommy, pray for me, looking for a job. I said, Have you examined yourself? Do you know what you are good at? He said, I've been looking for a job like 10 years after my graduation. I said, Do you think that God wanted to get a job? Or you God wanted to do your work, your whole ideas, your purpose, your potential, why you came into this world? He said, Mommy, I don't even know my purpose. Though. I don't know what you are talking about. Oh, please help me. I said, How old are you? He said, She's 32 years old. 32 years old, you don't know your purpose, you don't know why you are here on earth. That is a disaster. That is why I go into research based on talking to people naturally, talking to people. I also go gather some information. I also go into research. I say, how can we help our new generation? A lot of people are dying in ignorance. Uzziah said, Uzziah forces, he said, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. A lot of people today are in shackles and in pain because of what? Lack of knowledge. So this season, if you don't know the difference, I would like you to drop your message below this video. Or if I send it to you on WhatsApp, it, it send message back to me, say, Pastor Faith, how can I know my purpose? I don't know my purpose. Though. So I will be glad to walk you through the whole process. It's very easy. I will give you some things. You will ask some questions. I will give you some um, paper what to do. I will ask you to, you will ask some questions. Then I will know your gift and your what you can do. Above all, we keep praying to God that God should help you to recognize the purpose why you are here on earth. And the most high God will move you into your purpose for which you were created in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray this prayer. Say, Lord, move me into the purpose for which I was created. You have a purpose for which you were created. You are an assignment. You are not just in this world by accident. You didn't just come here to move around, you know, to check on people, to eat, to die and go back. When you die like that, I see you never leave. I wanted to make a monkey in your generation. I wanted to have a legacy whereby your generation will be proud of you. Whereby when people say, oh, that was a wonderful man, that was a wonderful woman, it's an icon. When they are burying people, say, today is the person is late. I quickly look into the person's story. I say, give me his first name and his last name. I want to know. What did he leave behind? What was he doing when he came into this world? Some of them, you find out that they did nothing, literally nothing. So, oh, 
this person just came into this beautiful world, no legacy, nothing, nothing. He went home like that. So we are correcting it in our generation in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So if you don't know what you are born to do, inbox me. I will be glad to walk you through the whole process in Jesus' name. It will get, it's never too late. It is never too late to get it right. Some people will say, no, I'm old. I, I was washing. I used to go to school. I studied this. I studied this. School is just for you to have knowledge. School is not what you are born to do. Don't get it twisted. A lot of graduates are, in, are on the street today. They don't have job because they don't know their purpose. They don't know why they are created. Your God-giving ideas, God-giving gift, the gift that God gave to you, you don't even need to go to school to recognize it. I want you to examine yourself. I want you to look at your values. What are my values? You're growing up as a teenager. What is that your strength? So when you'll be able to figure it out, positivity, no negativity. So I want you to be positive oriented. Look at when you were growing up. What is that thing I was good at? People know me for it. I do with ease, you know, with effort, effortless ease. People call me, hey, come and help me to do, come and help me to do this. Now, if you discover that you can pursue the knowledge, you can read books, how am I going to be better? You mara. You mara in your society and you mara in your destiny. Your generation will be proud of you because you discover your purpose and your value and your potential, the reason why you come, came into this beautiful world. Don't forget, your job is not your work. Your job is not your work. I'm talking to people that are still looking for a job for like decades, no job. It is about time you examine yourself. It is about time you begin to look at yourself. What can I do? What can I create? How can I bring this thing together and be a blessing to people? How can I solve problem? When you solve problem, automatically you have income. When you sit down all day, you sleep, you wake up, you don't solve any problem, you don't go to generate any income. So I want you to begin to examine yourself. Why can I solve this problem? What is the problem in our society? And the most high God will give you the wisdom in Jesus' name. I want to read this Bible verse for you on Romans chapter 12, verse 6. Look at it. It says, in his grace, God has given us different gifts for doing certain things well. That is it. God gives us different, different gifts. My gift is a pastor to talk to you, to liberate you, to set you free, to tell you what you can become. Because when I did my study i found out in genesis chapter one god said it is very good that is who we are we are a very good product so there's no room for excuses there's no room for failure there's no room for mediocrity the world is tired of mediocres a lot of mediocres everywhere nobody will patronize you if you are mediocre no we are tired of mediocrity i want you to begin to examine yourself what am i good at and the lord god will help you these days in jesus name in be part of it, say, so if God has given you the ability to prophesy, speak at, speak at with as much faith as God has given you. A lot of people has a gift for prophecy, gift to get things right, gift for teaching, mentoring, prayer, interceding, gift of manufacturing. Don't take out the business world because when you discover what you can do, then you begin to bless your business, begin to pray for your business. If you find out you are good in sewing, fashion, designing, making things, manufacturing things, then you begin to pray to God. God, this is my gift. Bless my gift by bringing God into it. So if you go into society, say, oh, I'm doing the cleaning work. I'm a, I'm a carpenter. I am a painter. I am a builder. I'm an architect. I'm a lawyer. I'm a nurse. I'm a doctor. That does not mean that you, are, you don't know what you are doing. You have to ask God to bless your work. You have to ask God, this is my strength. Bless my strength by calling God to be part of your God-giving ideas and God-giving goals. So in our society today, you find out that a lot of people are still waiting for a job. So I encourage you to follow me on this great journey as we begin to look at everyone has a purpose. And if you don't know it, I will be glad to walk you through the whole process. And you will recognize your dreams in Jesus' name. Do not forget, it's never too late to recognize it. It's never too late. In God's agenda, there is no age. In God's agenda, there is no old age. If you recognize it today, focus on it, pursue it, and you will be blessed to do in Jesus' name. You mara. Your destiny is in your hands. What you become in future is by you. It's yourself. Do not let people talk you down, say you are not very good, you are a failure, you are a disaster. When you keep listening to people, you go nowhere. When you keep looking for approval, you want people to approve me. Did anybody like what I'm doing? You go nowhere. One thing I want you to admire is focus. 
anything you are doing in life, focus on it. Because too many times in our society, often times, people start to stop. Because somebody is watching you, you want to know. Does she really know what she's doing? Is she really called to do this? Is it really her gift? Is it really her dream? Is it really her purpose? So by the time you do it, nobody clap on and follow you, you stop, you're going to be a failure. So when you're doing it, keep doing it. That is the problem we have in our society. People start, they stop. People start, they stop. They keep starting back and forth, back and forth. So I pray for you that the Most High God will give you the grace to be focused in your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you that you will recognize the purpose why you came into this beautiful world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you know not just come to move around. At the end of the day, you die, nothing, nothing to write about you. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. That will not be your portion in Jesus' name. Do not look for approval. Focus on your goal. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. One day it will speak. One day you will be known for it. A tree does not just grow a day. It's bit by bit. It takes time to grow. When people plant tree, you will not even know what is there until you emerge. Until the tree grow. People will begin to say, oh, this is a mango tree. This is a uh, pineapple tree. This is vegetable tree. This is a carrot tree. This is no tree. This is peanut tree. Then you get to understand the different trees they are because they now grow up. This is orange tree. So that is how it is in life. So I wanted to focus on it. You doing it now. Nobody sees you. Keep doing it because you love it. It's what you love. Be positive oriented. Focus on your goals. Focus on your purpose. Before you know it, you become famous. Before you know it, people will know you for it. So it is my prayer these days that you will focus on your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone has a purpose. It is about time you focus on it. And if you're already doing it, you need more resource, I will also encourage you to write me. I will be glad to walk you through it in Jesus' name. Do not forget, your job is not your work. There are two different things. So as we begin on this journey, I will be telling you more by the power of the Holy Spirit. Your job is not your work. Your job is what people pay you to do. Your job is what people pay you to do. Your work is what you are born to do. Why you came into this glorious world. And you will recognize your work this season. In Jesus name. I pray for you. Say, Lord and my God, move me into the purpose for which I was created. It's a very strong prayer. Every day of your life, if you are still struggling with that, you don't know your purpose, you're still busy looking for a job for like decades, no job, it is a bad time to look for something to do. Nothing is too small. The other day, I asked a nine years old boy, I said, what do you want to become? He said, I want to become a scientist. A nine year old boy. I said, scientist, how do you know that? How do you say, yes, because that's what I want to become. I just want to be a scientist. I said, prove it. The really nine year old boy, do you know what nine year old boy did? He took me to his room. When he took me to, my, to his room, my blowing, I was surprised. No joke. Everything about scientists, all the toys in this world, there is his room. The drawers, everything is there. I said, kudos to you. So I asked 32 years old lady, what do you want to become? He said, mommy, I don't know. You tell me. You can see the difference. That is why these Western people, they are ahead of you, ahead of us. A little nine-year-old boy, a Western boy, is telling me he want to be a scientist. A 32 year old lady is telling me I don't know what I want to become. You can see that we go nowhere. That is the problem we are having in our society. I can go on and on. A lot of people don't even know what they are doing. They still move around. They are still wandering around. They don't know their place. And I pray for you that the Holy Spirit begin to minister to you this season. And you will find your place in life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you will find your place in life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. It is my prayer for you. In Jesus name. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. In conclusion, I just want you to trust God. Because you cannot do all these things by yourself. Too many times we hear all these messages. We don't even know how to start. So I will encourage you to read Proverbs chapter 3. From verse 5 to 6. I will read it for you. I also encourage you to do your research on Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and 6. Look at what it said. It said, trust in the Lord with all your heart. That is the only way you can recognize your purpose. You must let God lead. And lay not 
in your own understanding. He know your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Glory to God. I would like you to read this Bible verse again and again. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord in all your ways. Even as you decide to start writing today, say, Pastor Faye, I want to become this. This is my dream. This has been my desire. This is something that I already like to do. This is the thing I wish to do. This is the thing I have strength. What is your strength? Even as you recognize it these days, I will want you to pray this proverb. Say, God, direct me. Lead me. Give me understanding. And the Lord God will grant you knowledge. He will grant you understanding. He will direct your path in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Even as you decide to trust in the Lord with all your heart. And the Most High God will show you the way to go these days. And you will make it in destiny. And you will make it in destiny. And your generation will be proud of you. In Jesus mighty name. God bless you. And I will talk to you in the next episode. Everyone has a purpose. Do not forget. Everyone has a purpose. God bless you. In Jesus name. Amen.